Today we are doing a one-on-one -on -one makeup class with our makeup artist. So she's gonna show us how you know I do the basics of our face. She basically told me she's gonna do one side of our face and then we'll do the other. So we can see how to do it. Everybody say hi to Kayla. This is our this has been my makeup artist for like five years now, y'all. I don't let nobody else play on my face, nothing. Like, hey, she's that's crazy because I got double of everything. Like naturally, I just have multiple of everything. Mm -hmm. okay, so I typically just get my little knuckle in there and rub it all over your face. Mm -hmm. So y'all could wipe that on your face and find your face. Mm -hmm. I know. Oh, and if y'all can So we're primer. using this for the primer. And she said you just dip. Dip and rub and dip. We just had a freak meet. Uh, how do you think it was? How do you think it was? It was cool to people watch. I feel like I think so. I feel too. like everybody looks so cute with the hair. I think I love theme parties. Matter of fact, uh, did you see the player ball? Somebody just had a player ball. It was good. Right. Um, were they just like pimps? Like it would have been always. Oh, I saw a couple Yeah, of it was cute. It was real cute. I'm like, dang. Like, so what are the girls? I thought about the girls. What was the girls? The girls wearing? dress kind of, like Freaknik for real. Kind of like oh, the big the hair with the, but like Ronnie, I play as well. We should have a thing. Well, I mean, I want to go to one. We didn't dress up for Freaknik, y'all. We kind of just went off the limb. Well, I thought everybody was so you know, We went, we but we, it was like last minute. We didn't go with the thing, but I'm like, everybody oh, was so cute. I just really, I don't know, because I was debating, like, is that something I want to go to? But I'm like, let me just go on getting that. Okay, so now y'all primed our face. Okay, cool, it don't look ashy on y'all. That's good. <laughs> so I'm going to do one of y'all brows. Ooh, I can do the other one. And we can do that. So this is just because some people brows be wild and this is just to lay it down. So I'm gonna do this side. So in the front I brush up a little and then I start to brush it over to the side. And I know it did go a long way, but you do wanna make sure you wait until this dries before you actually start to brush. Okay, that's like a whole brow elimination. Exactly. So that way when you go do your brows, it's not too much you gotta do other than outline it, fill it in where you wanna fill it in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, what is that? Okay, I'm gonna do this side. Are you right handed? Uh -huh. Okay, cool, cool. Are you right handed? Yeah, I'm right handed. Okay, good. I just like I got my eyebrows legs. I love it. Because it lays it down so that way your brows will clean automatically even if you mess up. That's something you can just use for that kind of Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Now some people use um when they don't have this, they use the got to be glue free spray. And some people use edge control. I never use the edge control because I don't know if it dries like this. This does look like edge control though, so mm -hmm. I get it. Yeah. So y'all can brush that on. And then the front, I brush up a little bit, then I start to take it to the side. Who did your hair? Y'all, uh, your wig is like damn. Well, she did. Yeah. Oh, this girl Ari in Texas. She's actually from here. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Dang, why are all the Kansas City just left? I got some thick eyebrows. When drawing them on, my best advice is to go light. Like, that's what anything though. Go light, light, light. Be so light handed. Because you could build it up, but like, if you go too harsh, you think, like, it's pretty much the same. You gotta start over. So, you can always build up. Okay. So, my favorite brow pencils. Okay, all right, not super harsh, just go super light. And then you can have it. Okay, let me see. And then try to make it match the other side as much as possible. Oh, this is hard. No! Hey, so do you do your makeup ever? 
Yeah, I do my makeup. I okay. just don't like. I don't feel confident about it. Uh, okay, because I was about to say when people, you probably some stuff you probably gonna do better than me because it's your face and you do your face and you know what you like. But um, and it's not bad. Why did it feel like it was terrible? It feel like it is. I don't know. I'm mm -hmm. able to touch my eyebrows. So I don't even know what it is. We can just shade it in, put it in right there, just a little bit. And then you go on the Okay, I'm Y'all didn't do so bad. Okay. And the good part is, this is the hardest part. Social media is just so bright. Then it's like it's people moving there every day. Mm -hmm. So you got the Facebook groups that you can use. Um, sort of like the one we got here, the KC Boss Day. Then it's like, you didn't, you didn't know what that's? Yeah, no. <laughs> Girl, it's a group on Facebook called KC Boss Day. And you just posting there like, because I got some clients out here just this week. I'm posting there. And, um, Oh, wow. Really today my only free day I got clients the rest of the week because I'm like, let me go ahead and do something while I'm here. But How yeah, long are you here it. for? Uh, I'm only here till Wednesday, but oh, I've been okay. here for a week. So oh, okay. I posted in there before I go. So then when I get back to Dallas, so I just post like, okay, I got availability these days and stuff. But oh, wow. For sure, yeah. I'm surprised you didn't know about that. Hell no, but I don't be on Facebook. You know, they a real hood over there. You mm -hmm. gotta be strong. They are, but if we grow up on there looking for all types of stuff, event planners and makeup mm -hmm. artists, this and that, who can do my lashes? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't have a, a baking, a setting powder home yet. Like, I kind of use Binti That's what this is, the more I use any one, but... I don't really have a favorite. Y'all want to do neutral eyeshadow for this birthday. Okay. Oh, no, okay. You funny. <laughs> She's still a birthday look. Um, so for my eyeshadow brushes, I don't have nothing fancy. Literally nothing fancy. All my little eyeshadow brushes, is that's one thing I don't spend a lot of money on is brushes. It's me sharing stuff with myself. Cause girl, get off people uh, Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> So how did you find like with your passion with makeup? Um, yeah, that's the case because my um my cousin asked me this the other day. Nobody really figured that I was gonna like makeup. Um, well, I was always putting on foundation in high school, so I already was dealing with makeup because I got so much scarring from when I was having bad acne, mm -hmm. and um, so I would wear foundation every day. And then I attempted to do my freaking makeup for my senior pictures. I do not recommend. Wait until you learn what you're doing. <laughs> Cause don't nobody know I graduated from high school because y'all would never see them. Oh. Like they looked a mess. So I I stopped until college, and my roommate had taught me how to do the brows because I didn't know how to do the brows. She taught me how to do the brows, and our friend across the hall taught me eyeshadow. Just one little two, one two, one two, and I would just sit in my dorm like literally doing that shit all day, like not doing nobody, not doing no homework. That's why I dropped out because I was in there doing makeup and not my work. And I'm just like, yeah, I was obsessed with it at that point. You can look all the way up for me. And so, yeah, I just got addicted to it. Like, and I wasn't even so much addicted to, like, wearing it out myself because I don't wear it every day myself. I was just addicted to, like, turning something from one thing to another. Mm -hmm. Like, and then that's it. And I would take it right back off and do that shit again. Wouldn't go nowhere. Nobody would see me in it. I would practice on everybody. But I don't know, it's like color. So when you um started getting into it and stuff, did you want to take classes and stuff to get better or did you just practice? practice? Um, I just practiced to get better. I thought about going to esthetician school, uh, well, cosmetology school. Mm -hmm. And um, I did it. And, but you know, back then I was like 2016, 17, 2017. Mm -hmm. You know, that, it wasn't really trendy to be doing all of this. Okay, so, yeah, you're right, you're right, right. So, yeah, because I'm like, there wasn't just, no classes available. Yeah, they didn't have a lashing class. You yeah, know, go class. Like, I just all that, all that, and I'm just like, I kind of feel like I wasted my time. Yeah, in a sense, 
I did learn a lot about, you know, certain things that I just did not know as far as sanitation that you're not going to learn from a class. But mm -hmm. as far as like the whole nine, it just was like, girl, I could have been on YouTube all day for real. Because mm -hmm. I already knew what I was doing. It was more so like just practicing, practicing every day. Because even like with somebody showing, you still going to have to practice just like if you practice mm -hmm. watching it. It's just some people look like they put their hands on. So you can put that on the other side of your face. Okay. And I just use, and of course, when you're using your own stuff, you don't gotta use these little tools. Cause me, I mix them on my face, like. Oh yeah. yeah and okay. then I just blend it in together. Okay, let's see. So with um, you started doing makeup, where did the wigs come into play? The wigs, see, actually with the wigs, I was kind of, it all came in together at the same time. Before I graduated from breast skin, I was already asking people if they would buy my hair if I sold mm -hmm. it. I, thought okay, you I, do, I do remember you. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, I, I thought I had to be 18 to sell hair, for, or to start a business, period. I thought I had to be 18, which is dumb. Um, and then, so I had, uh, and you did put a little bit of the dark on there too? A little bit, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I put in a little bit more. Yeah, yeah I would like a little bit more on there. You could squeeze some on there if you needed to. But yeah, um, I, I was always playing in wigs though because alopecia runs in my family. My mama has alopecia. So like, she's just like bald. Like she always wore wigs. So I already was in, I just didn't care for the ugly synthetic wigs she would wear. So it's just like, let me, it's cool. I'm gonna do it. Let me figure it out. So I was doing the wigs just for me and my people for the longest. I was selling the hair, but I wasn't doing wigs for other mm -hmm. people. Until I had slap one on the mannequin, it was mine though that I was doing, and everybody like for sale for sale. Right, right, like, right. Nah, this Cause I saw that. So when you would have your sales with your wigs, they were selling out. Uh huh. Yeah. Honestly, I had just started selling wigs in 2020 mm -hmm. after the pandemic, and I was and like, I was yeah, that's when it was. Yeah. Yep. And I'm like, yeah. dang, she saw out of these wigs. That's mm -hmm. dope. Yep. So once them wigs, cause it's, I feel like with business, when you take away a lot of the work for people they gonna fly in like yeah. i'm taking out the installation fee. Uh -huh. i'm taking out you having to go get it styled and customized like everything is taken out mm -hmm. when you pay the price all of this is coming done so so do you get excited when you have clients that come and they're like i want my wig and my makeup in uh-huh i got one tomorrow actually that's my I, first time i love that i love uh -huh. that yeah. uh-huh yeah she's i'm gonna install that okay. one that i'm gonna do her basically this look that we're doing right oh, now that's nice. uh -huh. how that's, long is that that's 26 inches that was good. Oh, that looked real nice. Shout out to people. Shout out. Shout out to people. 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 Shout out to I'm like, it's just fun. Like, it ain't, of course, nobody needs this. Like, mm -hmm. but it's just fun. Like, but I was always a girl, girl. I will say, I'm shockingly, because I grew up around all boys. So. And I'm so opposite. I feel like growing <laughs> up, I was outside with the boys all day. Mm -hmm. I was too, but I would sneak off to change my outfit 10,000 times. <laughs> I, you was gonna catch me like, in sneakers and some shorts. Ah! Nothing else. Yeah, I'm so I just too. started getting into the. Okay, so we. This and that going on. See, let's try outside with the full heat. Okay, okay. I'm excited. Okay. I'm about to be in Houston, for real. Okay, nah, yeah, them girls, right. yeah, you gotta come in your Sunday yeah. best out there. Like, yeah, they, they be outside. Because mm -hmm. I had seen it on TikTok, they be talking about that a lot. I've never been in Houston. I've been in Dallas, but I've never been in Houston. I so what foundation do you use? So, um, what do I use most? I feel like I use the Fenty the most. I've never tried the Fenty. I'm not gonna lie. I tried it. I hated it. Yeah, I, I it never tried past it. Or something and I, oh, I don't remember how I got into it. I don't. But I know for a while I kept asking like, which um Julius place should I use? And you was like, girl, I don't know, I mean. Uh, yeah, I, I do be mixing. I ain't gonna. But yeah, we definitely came up in a different era, which really don't seem that long ago. But I'm like, bro, y'all literally could just go buy courses, book classes. This is Ooh, not how it was when we was starting. It's like, terrible because you know what? This girl went viral about saying some stupid stuff about how somebody went blind when they did the lashes or something. Really? About, she had contacts in her eyes, so she went blind after she did her lashes. And I'm like, that's a stupid ass way to market that. Like, because she was marketing her ebook. 
And it went viral. It was on the shade room. But now it's people like, I'll never get Marcia. She's like, I'm never getting my lashes done again. I'm like, girl, I don't believe that. Please don't. That is crazy. You know how people tell them crazy stories on the TikTok? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's what she was doing. It caught a lot of people's attention. Yeah, but it's the marketing strategy. wrong type of attention. Yeah, the shock. Like. It's like the shock value type of yeah, thing. Yeah, and I'm like, ah, oh, bitch, you are fucking it up there. <laughs> yeah, no. you supposed to go do something like, I don't know. Like me, I don't like posting how much I make. Mm -hmm. But I feel like that would be a shock value that I use. Like, oh, I've I done that before. Like, just come lash with me day. for a day. Yeah, uh -huh. people like, like to that. see that because then it's like, okay, damn, maybe I should take it serious. Uh -huh. Maybe I should do what I love to do. So I like stuff like that. But yeah, I like that. It's all of this type of stuff is more normalized now. Cause mm -hmm. like I said, like, I my mama gave me her blessings when I wanted to do what I wanted to do, but. They didn't look at it as like, oh, you successful. Like, yeah, that it could be like a successful that, yeah. thing. And now, she definitely giving my my people the for sure. I feel like I had that problem for a long time too. People saying like, you need a real job. You need a uh -huh. job. Yep. And I have a degree. It's just more so like that degree. Duh. <laughs> it's the that degree. So you just press it in, press it in. You know, foundation ain't nothing too fancy. I'm gonna break down this half in here. Girl. And then you just press it, make sure it's in there good. So I just had to make sure that was your color. Now I could go ahead and I'm following the rest of the face. And I try to make it spread. I try not to cake up, you know, too dang on much. Mm -hmm. I do kind of want to finish school though, I ain't gonna lie. Just cause it's like, at this point, y'all keep harassing me. <laughs> y'all not, but they're not trying to give me like transcripts, which is, which is another problem. What school is it? UCM. They do that bad. I don't know why they do that. Um, I don't know. I really uh, got into the point where I'm just like, I don't know. From, from my standpoint, I feel like more younger girls should learn about different trades that they can probably take different up before trades. they just yeah. get pushed on college because i was pushed on college that's where i went but if i would have found the love for what i do now or mm -hmm. way earlier yeah. i probably wouldn't have wasted money in time. time yeah i would have saved money in time mm -hmm. okay perfect so i'm gonna take this off and then i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the face because i feel like i'm gonna have to do it again and then i'm I was gonna be doing that regardless. Technically, yeah. I am doing what I was gonna end up doing, but still, I definitely should have my cosmetology school because I don't install the wigs like that because I don't know how to braid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's I'm handy. I feel like now. braiding is something like that, that yeah, you I would need somebody just gotta else. practice. Yeah, and that's because Marcelle said she would teach me, and she said in the meantime she could just braid for me if I need it. I thought about that too. You should look into it. Because yeah. there's young girls out here that hustle. They will mm -hmm. come braid for you all day. Right, My little right. sister was braiding in the shop, making some good money. Because, shoot, when you got so many wigs to install, you don't got time uh -huh. to sit and braid. Because I didn't realize that braiding. a lot of the top stylists here actually do have braiders. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I just thought, oh, I can't braid. I didn't go to school for it. I can't do it. Well, technically, they're going to be paying for an install then too, which adds right. on to Which adds on to it. So. I was like, why do you like mine like that? Did you mix mm -hmm. them? Mm -hmm. okay, no, okay. I didn't mix them. Maybe I pressed in a little bit harder though. I'll make it change to what I'm going to do. Okay, <laughs> but so if, if you stuff. are a little too light, it's cool because we about to come to where the clown party is next. Okay, the clown party. Yeah, I always tell people that because I know people start to lose faith like, wait a minute. Like, what are we doing? I'm telling you. See, I, whoever did this week going to do so good on your knots. I love it. I'm happy to see that Kansas City is leaving. I kind of want to go to um Charlotte, North Carolina. I feel like even if you don't leave right away, book an Airbnb for a month. Try that. that. This I girl is going that. around the fucking country doing micro links, making bank. Uh, she was only in Houston for so long, and I planned on going to her, but I look up, she in New York now. Then she's going. Somewhere else in June. I'm like, oh, okay, get your money. Mm -hmm. But I started trying. I wonder out. if you feel like you gotta have the following first, or do you just hop in the groups? She was on TikTok. Facebook. She went viral one time and ain't stopped since. So, and then you could like fake smile, like 
and that'll just tell you where to put this. Cause you know, if you're blushing, go have like this deep out brush, put it on the cheek. And I know this look a clown mess. It's okay though. It's gonna come together. <laughs> and I use the orange, of course, because orange just show up on this. Like people get it. And plus, I don't like the shimmer. This question, let's see. If you could give yourself advice, your younger self, what would you say? If I can give my younger self advice, it's gonna seem like it's off topic, but I'm telling you, it definitely played a big part. My advice to my younger self, um, to my 2016, 2017 self, leave that nigga alone. Like, <laughs> like, cause that, that, that held me back. Like that put me back. I was so like wrapped up in that. And yeah, and it discouraged yeah. me a lot too. So. It, yeah, it happens. We all got through mm -hmm. that for sure. Yeah, so I would definitely say leave the nigga alone. Cause I know, I would definitely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just. And I feel like they told us that when we was younger. Like, you too young, don't wear. I feel like I, I heard like that, that a lot. too, but the you craziest know, thing is, I feel like I'm just now getting into that. And I feel like my younger self, I was so you was worried about, you know. I was really outside with the boys all the time. I, I ain't. So it's like, you know, I'm looking at it as I'm gang. Yeah, I was, that's why I, when I said I was sitting in the room and be doing that, I was sitting in there because of the nigga, like, that he just didn't want me going nowhere, doing nothing while I was listening, I don't know. And you know, I've learned that about guys, just literally in these past two years, that guys, and then, they literally will try to break you down. I don't understand why they do that. Um, it's, I mean, like I said, I was discouraged, uh, for sure, because it just wasn't no support from the person I was dealing with, of course. And, um, I could like I don't know it just made me nervous like to even I don't know it's like I was embarrassed to be starting a business mm -hmm. like it's weird and it's so funny because I didn't grow out of that until last year like dudes would ask me like oh I see you have a business like how's business going or whatever and I just be like I would get defensive because it's like what you asking for like mm -hmm. and that's all because of just how he discouraged me so I just didn't feel comfortable sharing with a nigga like from a business standpoint, I feel like guys are pocket watchers. Mm -hmm. They don't want to see you doing better than them. Yeah. It's our, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's just like a weird type of thing that we have to go through. Yep, it's competition. So, Jess, what would you tell your younger self? Mm. Let me think. I would say... Um, not care so much what people think around me. Mm -hmm. So like, um, I can get easily like, like if so, if I say, oh, I want to do something, and somebody like, oh, that's stupid. I'm just like, all right, you know, I start mm -hmm. overthinking and mm -hmm. start thinking. And so, yeah, I would definitely say just quit think, quit worrying so much about what other people like, dislike, don't, don't want. And so like, what y'all was saying about the college thing, I went to college. I feel like it was. In our generation, I feel like it was kind of like pressed upon us. Like, you mm -hmm. need to go to college. That's how you want to be successful. And yeah. now I'm saying, now yeah. it's like, if I have a kid, I'm telling them, like, if you want to do something, here's the way we can figure it out. Mm -hmm. You don't have to, like, you got to do something, but, like, it don't have to be. Because I'm like, I'm sitting here with this business degree and I'm working in insurance. Like, the money is great, but it's just like, okay. This is like it's miserable every day. Like yeah. it's just like I feel like yeah, it's very important to yeah, find something, to find something passion you really like and kinda and I feel like starting it's with like our generation is yeah. It's like I feel like it's changing a lot. Like it's a lot mm -hmm. of entrepreneurs that's a lot mm -hmm. of black people that's really doing their own thing. So I don't like I wouldn't tell somebody, Don't go to college, do this, do that, but I would say just really figure out what you wanna do and execute it. There's other options besides. Mm -hmm. Because college is really not for everybody. Like I honestly feel like I was in Kaufman, so it was like it was paid for and I'm sure, you know, my parents I would have went regardless just because it's stressed upon me. But it's like if I would have known oh there was a possibility to I remember when I was like thirteen, I got like a little doing nails and it's like of course at that time it was who's thinking, Oh, I could be a nail mm -hmm. one day, like who's thinking like that. Change. But that's yeah. all that's all it takes. Yeah, like you see a little girl mm -hmm. go viral, then next thing you know it's somebody pulling up on her with a whole right. nail like you yeah. know. It's really it's, so, it's good support out here. Yeah, so I'm like I'm happy it's getting to that point. I just hope like you know whenever I do have kids, like I 
you know, make sure they know that's an option. Like, yeah. you, know, you can do what you want to do. So, I think my advice would be to my younger self, don't be so afraid. I was so afraid of so many things. And I just, it is like looking back, it was silly. Like, what was you scared for? What was you scared for? Yeah. Yeah. Picking a, um, honestly, when it comes to anything, it's just like I've always been so thoughtful in my head, like overthinking. Overthinking. And then it's like picking a school. Um, when your parents sit here forcing this on you, <laughs> forcing this on you. And um, I picked a school. I ended up going to Langston. And then it's like, I'm so worried about what my parents yeah, doing right, that I yeah. want to transfer. You, you know, know, it's like I never follow my dreams. Because I really feel like if I would have stayed in Oklahoma, I would have been left Kansas City a long time ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and, yes. and even really going further. Because I wanted to go to Bethune Cook in Florida. Oh, I wanted time. to go to Bethune. And I wish I I, would, I think that I was really, I really wish so I did. Good. I wish I did too. Really? I wanted to so bad. Yeah, so I really want to preach that to younger people. Like, don't be afraid. Yeah, just don't do be it. afraid. Because mm -hmm. I Believe promise y'all. Believe yourself and do it. It changed my life. Like, now when I come back home, it's like, it just feels like home, of course. But it's like. I feel like the opportunities that I've ran into are just like so different. And I feel like it's it's a inexplainable thing. Like I, I can't explain it. You just have to kinda of see for yourself. Mm -hmm. you really I see do. I, I wanna leave but I'm scared to leave. Like I was so I scared. Feel I feel like my I'm my parents not my parents, certain people talk me out of it, tell me like, you know, just you know, you gonna make your money here, you can just go out there and travel and and it's like, of course, they scared for you in a sense, but it's like, if I would have stayed, they would have handicapped me. Because mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, yeah. So, I'm, I'm really glad. I feel like that was part of myself growing up, though, because like I said, I was so scared to do everything else that this is something that I was like, I'm so, I think me and Jess is like, I'm so scared, but I'm going to do it for <laughs> a year, then I'm going to come home. Now I did it for a year, I said, I ain't never. never going back. Oh, I'm never. <sighs> I want to, I'm just, uh, my thing is where. My thing is where. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, that's the hard thing. But like I said, I did a year here, I'm doing a year here. So Who what knows where I go? Hey, advice would you give for somebody that does have a business that's wanting to relocate? Right. Um, my advice would be go for it. Honestly, it it sounds cliche, but I say go for it. I feel like, like I just told you, um, try it out. Go go for a week and use those Facebook groups and you know post that you're gonna be there. Use Style C. Use these apps that are created every day and just go for it. You just kind of gotta see, um, basically your full potential. Like when I come home, I didn't expect to be booked how I am. Like. I thought people, oh, I was going to get my regulars back. Okay, mm -hmm. they're going to come support. But I've been having DMs out to ask, like, can you get me wow. in? Can you get me in? So it's like, when I got to Texas, I really feel like I had so much support. I think my clientele grew in two months to what I built up to be here in three years. Wow. That's crazy. But it's like, wow. the support is there. I feel like out there... In, maybe in more places, but I can only speak from what I know. Where, I feel like are, yeah. they come, they show up, they pay, they tip, they don't have no, like, they just, if they like your work, they come in for it. They definitely are. Yeah, I want to go to, I just don't know where I want to go to. That's my only I problem. feel like use your connections. Use your connections where you know people go visit for a week at a time. Mm -hmm. This is the. That way you're not committing. You're not committing. Yeah. To. Yeah. Cause I do kind of want to do a little makeup run in New York. I feel um, like you should do a tour. I think. Uh huh. You, I was about to say. I, I think you want to do Texas bomb. too. But I want to do Charlotte too. It's, yeah. I think you should really do a child tour. That's gonna be dope. You, I, I've seen girls do lash class tours and oh, this, this, right. and that. So this is so basically to kind of remember this. So the dark I put up here, kind of like a three, like in the shape of a three. I just don't put it right here, but I put it right there. I put it right there. I put it right there. So literally like a three. That's the that's the dark. And then and with the dark, I did put it right on top of the blush, just a little bit. I don't press super hard because you know the more pressure, the darker. And then the lighter up underneath the course on the forehead down. So basically in the center of your face and under the eyes. Now, if you want to like make your cheekbone a little stronger, you can put a little bit underneath. Under the dark, but I don't. I don't know. I just don't ever do it. 
So then you can turn this up just a little bit and it look up for me only because I don't want to let it sit. You just tap, 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 tap. And I know people be like, how the hell is this about to come back around? You got this light stuff on my face. Like, how does this trust the process? I used to be so scared of this part that I used to do it underneath the foundation. <laughs> like, because I just didn't understand. But, no, as long as I keep pressing, it's going to come in. And then, of course, have your little buffer brush to get into them cracks that you can't reach and definitely you want to make sure you get that forehead almost immediately for some reason the forehead draws the quickest maybe because we don't have no meat on our forehead for real <laughs> but it's draws the quickest bones yeah definitely bones okay so that's what just the the light went it out and of course we're gonna keep going in i went in with the brush shed I just feel like I look like Michael Jackson on this camera. Duh! <laughs> so, yep, so do that just like that. You always want to use the lightest right up underneath. And I could have went. I don't know if I could find my lightest. I can really use it. And you know, the UK girls got us in a headlock right now. I don't know if y'all know that since so. everything. They got us in a headlock with the makeup because they started the bright under eye trend. You oh, know, and I um mm -hmm. I really love streetwear, mm -hmm. and I think the UK girls is definitely uh -huh. they eat that up every day. <laughs> you so funny! Oh my <laughs> goodness! <laughs> oh gosh! Yeah, um, different design, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh my Jesus! <laughs> Okay, uh, so which you one are you saying? Yeah, and that might that's a little bit of a remix. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, yeah, because this is just like a little dot and then dot going down and dot going down. That's what your side gonna be. Forehead to back. Yeah. Oh my god. So, <laughs> so, uh, I blend out the light with this part and I blend out the dark with the bottom part. And you just tap, 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 press in. Yep, keep pressing in. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. I love it. I love it. 